हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड फेज शिफ्ट फेज शिफ्ट इज आल्सो नोन एज फेज डिफरेंस एंड फेज चेंज द फेज शिफ्ट और फेज डिफरेंस इज मेजर्ड बिटवीन टू सिग्नल्स ऑफ सेम फ्रीक्वेंसी सो फेज शिफ्ट इज मेजर्ड बिटवीन टू सिग्नल्स ऑफ सेम फ्रीक्वेंसीज सो फेज शिफ्ट इज मेजर्ड इन टर्म्स ऑफ डिग्रीज और एंगल सो फेज शिफ्ट इज मेजर्ड इन टर्म्स ऑफ डिग्रीज और एंगल फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू कंसिडर द फर्स्ट सिग्नल वाई वन ऑफ टी दैट कैन बी गिवन एज ए साइन ओमेगा टी प्लस फाइव वन एंड इफ यू कंसिडर सेकेंड सिग्नल वाई टू ऑफ टी इज इक्वल टू बी साइन ओमेगा टी प्लस फाइव टू हेयर वी हैव कंसिडर साइन वेव एज एन एग्जाम्पल हेयर ए एंड बी रिप्रेजेंट एम्पलीट्यूड ऑफ टू सिग्नल्स ओमेगा रिप्रेजेंट एंगुलर फ्रीक्वेंसी एंड फाइव वन एंड फाइव टू रिप्रेजेंट्स फेज ऑफ द सिग्नल सो ए एंड बी रिप्रेजेंट्स amplitude of signal omega represent angular frequency and phi 1 and phi 2 represents the phase of the signal therefore we can say the phase shift can be given as phi 2 minus phi 1 so if we take the difference between the phase of second signal and the phase of first signal will get the phase shift therefore phase shift is equal to phi 2 minus phi 1 to understand phase shift let us consider a sinusoidal signal in this sinusoidal signal this origin point represents the starting point of the signal so the starting point of the signal will generally consider it as 0 degree so from here 0 degree at this point it is 90 degree and here it is 180 degree and at this point it is 270 degree and here it is 360 degree so this is very important for us to understand phase shift so at this point we will be having 90 degree at this point it is 180 degree at this point it is 270 degree and at this point it is 360 degree now let us consider two signals y1 of t and y2 of t the starting point of first signal is at 0 degree and the starting point of second signal is at 90 degree so we can say phi1 is equal to 0 and phi2 is equal to 90 degree therefore the overall phase shift between these two signal can be given as phi2 minus phi1 so that will be equal to 90 degree minus 0 therefore the overall phase shift between these two signals are 90 degree so we can say signal y1 of t leads signal y2 of t by 90 degree or we can say the phase shift between these two signals are 90 degree now let us consider one more example where the first signal y1 of t is starting from 0 degree and the second signal y2 of t is starting from 180 degree therefore the starting point of first signal is at 0 degree and the starting point of second signal is at 180 degree so we can say phi1 is equal to 0 degree phi2 is equal to 180 degree therefore overall phase shift can be given as 180 degree 
minus 0 degree. So, the phase shift between these two signals is 180 degree. So, from this we understood that the phase shift means that two signals are at different points of their cycle at a given time. So, from this we understood that two signals are at different point of their cycle at any given time. This is about phase shift between two signals. I hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.